Call the area lift bridge on 16 Eggerby Spear. Eggerby Spear, aerial bridge, channel 10, please. 10. Uh, yes, sir, aerial lift bridge, uh, Eggerby Spear, just coming around Rice Point. All right, Captain, if you'd give me another call when you get up by a cargo there, I'd appreciate it, and I'll get up and out of your way. Another call, cargo, thank you. All righty, thanks for the call. Bridge clear. Spear, aerial bridge. I'm headed up now for you, Cap. Roger, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Visitors, right now departing through the Duluth Ship Canal, we have the Edgar B. Spear. The Edgar B. Spear was built in 1980 by the American Shipbuilding Company in Lorain, Ohio. She measures 1,004 feet in length, 105 feet in width, and 56 feet in depth. She's powered by two 9,600 horsepower 18 cylinder Pale 6 diesel engines, which give her a top speed of 15 knots or about 17 miles per hour. She's also equipped with bow and stern thrusters to aid her maneuverability in port. The Edgar B. Spear has 20 hatches on her deck, which open into five cargo holds located below deck. Each hatch covering measures 28 by 11 feet. She has a maximum... <laughs> Shuttle boom, which allows her to unload her own cargo at a rate of 10,000 tons per hour. With 
without the aid of shoreside equipment. The Edgar B. Spear is owned by the Duluth-based Great Lakes Fleet, a subsidiary of Canadian National Railway and operated by Key Lakes Incorporated, also of Duluth. The Spear was in port today loading iron ore pellets at the Canadian National Docks over in West Duluth. If you see any crew members on deck, make sure to give them a big wave and wish them a safe voyage across the big lake.